Morning everyone, so I've just had a bath, I've done my sheet mask, my skin is glowing, I've made myself a coffee. Um, it's about nine o'clock, so I need to leave in about 20 minutes. Um, my first meeting is at 11, but it takes about an hour, an hour 15 to get there. So I wanna make sure that I leave in plenty of time. It's all the way down south in Punkyo. So yes, I just need to do my makeup, grab the gifts for the partners I'm meeting today, because straight after I'm going to the, uh, the new Claire's showroom. And yeah, it should be a good, but long day. So I'm not gonna have time to eat lunch today. <laughs> so I've bought my ginseng talgona that I got in Sulwusu last night. And I'm thinking that's sugary, so I can snack on that in between meetings maybe. Down on that coffee. <laughs> Luckily there's an espresso machine in my hotel room because it's nine o'clock, so all the cafes are shut. Okay, let's go. My bathroom. <laughs> Your bathroom. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> wow. How is it? Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's not sticky yeah, as not well. Sticky. Which is nice. <laughs> the number one best. Vitamin E and vitamin E work really nicely together. So both antioxidants. So this one's really good at actually fading acne scars or dealing with hyperpigmentation. But the percentage of vitamin C is enough that those with sensitive skin can use it, which is why it's such a popular one. But it also contains other soothing ingredients such as Centella Asiatica. This one is also one of my favorites because it is so nourishing, but the texture is really unusual. They call it kind of like a pudding consistency. It kind of bounces back to its original form. But this one is really soothing to use after the vitamin C. Yeah, like a match pudding. 
and then you can take it out. But it smooths down really easily. Yeah, and it absorbs very quickly. Yeah, and there's no sticky residue or anything. And then actually in the jar, it'll go back to its original yeah, form, which is yeah, really right. interesting. And then this is the miniature as well. This is 15 mils, I think. Yeah, 15 mil. <laughs> and a little of this goes a long way. Sorry? A little bit. You only need a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> like lasts yeah. ages. Yeah, so we were just saying the fundamental line is our favorite. <laughs> Actually, this product here is my favorite because I think a lot of people might get scared by the fact that it says oil. But this one is really lightweight. It absorbs really nicely. It doesn't leave any residue. Um, I personally have combination dry skin and I find this is the perfect amount of hydration for me. But this fundamental range is really good for those with sensitive skin as well. Oh, this is also good. <laughs> this one I always use when I'm tired in the morning. It's got a slight cooling sensation but it's um, formulated with green tea, so it's quite, I guess, reinvigorating. And then if you're looking for something more nourishing, then this is a better option maybe. It's a more soothing. Um, it's still lightweight though, so for those that don't like a heavy eye cream in case they don't want to get milia, it's still a really good option. But I personally like a gel lightweight consistency, but I like that this is really good for when you're tired. <laughs> And then this is a really good sheet mask as well. Actually, when I filmed with Judy Jew and I gave her five different sheet masks and I asked her her favorite in a blind test, she said this one. Um, so this one is a bamboo sheet mask. It's got charcoal, so it's really good at regulating oil levels. But it's also, after I use it, my skin feels really soft. It's really calming, um, but I think it works for if you've got irritated skin or if you're just looking to have a bit of a treat to, I don't, I just feel my skin feels really nice and clean and smooth afterwards. But this I know is really popular, this line, the Midnight Blue Activating Drop is a really good option for those that are looking for something a little bit more anti-aging. It's got peptides in. Um, and then I know a lot of people like to use this if they've got sunburn. <laughs> so this is the hand wash and the hand cream and also the hemp towel that I just used. And this is exclusive? Exclusive for the flagship store? No. Or, no. Ooh. Yeah, available, but um, the registration is under the process. Ooh, okay. Ooh, so this might be available soon and actually this oh, this just looks so nice and I like the gift pack here that they have with everything and it says for your two hands that are always too busy which is true because my hands were really dry and cracked before but now they're really nice and moisturized so if you do come to Claire's Soul, there's free gifts with purchases as well. So for 30,000, 60,000, oh wow, 90,000, you get the free freshly juiced vitamin drop. Wow, that's really generous. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just showing the texture of the water gel cream because I don't think I've ever seen a moisturizer with this mm -hmm. consistency. It's very unusual. And I think for those with combination to oilier skin types might really like how lightweight this is mm -hmm. so it's almost well as the name suggests it's very watery so kind of like a very thin gel like texture mm -hmm. but it's still hydrating enough because it mm -hmm. contains a lot of soothing ingredients as well mm -hmm. Yeah, so this whole range has green tea and panthenol in this one. And then, oh, there's the mist as well, which is really refreshing. This one's kind of a watery consistency. Um, I like to use this after I've washed my face and have it in my bathroom and just spray before I add my essence or other skincare products, just to make sure that my skin doesn't dry out after cleansing. So this one was recently reformulated. We actually had a miniature in our advent calendar. I think we might be sold out of this one, but we will get it again soon. 
This line is really good for if you have really dry skin uh, and also sensitive skin. It's obviously unscented, so this is the more hydrating version of um, the other sheet mask, and this is from Tensile Cotton as well. And then we have the cleansing oils as well. And then this new cleanser, which I believe is a pH, yeah, a pH friendly cleanser. Obviously vegan friendly, like with all Claire's products. And then exfoliators. So we have two different scrubs. The original, which was the black sugar, and then also the youthful glow sugar mask, which can also be used as a face mask or uh, an exfoliator, physical exfoliator, or you can actually just use it to give your face a cleanse. I'm excited to try this one. This is the rich moist. And this is pH balanced, and even though it's a foam, it's still, it's not drying, it's still really good yeah. for sensitive skin. Very soft. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm, so nice and smooth after. Mm. Yeah. It does not look dry. <laughs> <laughs> this is their rich moist line. Yes. Beautiful glow. The color is so... Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. I'm gonna use this. I... It's coming with this little amount of water. Yes. Like this, yeah. So it's not too abrasive. Mm -hmm. It's still a really gentle one though. Yeah. And when you add the water, it doesn't feel harsh. I really feel harsh. Because the, the sugar kind of dissolves a little bit. Mm -mm, yeah. I didn't have much time in between meetings. I mean, I did have quite a few cakes at the tea room, so that definitely helped me, but I'm just gonna have this ramen. Oh my God, I didn't realize ramen is 500 calories, but I need it, because dinner's not for another couple hours. Okay, quick turnaround. I've just showered, washed my hair, got changed, and I'm off to meet Axis Y for dinner. <laughs> so I'm back in the hotel I've just washed my face my face is really red at the moment and I think that's just from the last week having worn a mask just everywhere really inside outside but I came back to the hotel and they said that there was a package waiting for me at reception <laughs> I went up to reception 
first of all, it's such a cute bag, but <laughs> it and Tree have just left this absolutely massive bag of goodies. Um, where do I even start? Puffy face kit cooling mask. I mean, I feel like I probably need to try that at some point before I leave because it's been quite humid. Pear extract helps deep off, cools down by minus five. That's going to be amazing in summer. Um, a lot of these products I just haven't even seen before. So this is their Yam Root Vegan Milk Cleanser. I love a really lightweight cleanser. This one protects the skin barrier. It's obviously pH balanced, rich and creamy texture. So I'm really interested to see how that is. Um, it's probably enough as uh, Okay, so you can either wipe with cotton pads or you can use as kind of a face wash. Um, oh, <laughs> they've also given me the sun cream. So unfortunately, this is not yet registered for legal distribution in the UK. Otherwise, we definitely would have got this. Um, but we are still waiting for them to get their uh, CPMP certification process, which means we will be able to legally distribute it in the UK and Europe. Um, for those that don't know, there's obviously a certification process that needs to um, brands need to go through in order to legally sell a product in the UK. So if you do see brands that sell products such as Etude House and Laneige, um, a lot of the times they haven't got the exclusivity rights to sell it or they um, haven't undergone the right certification process. So that's something that we always look to do and also the hyaluronic acid airy sunstick okay so that's the sunstick version of the cream we have what's this one mugwort calming cream that sounds really good um again we're waiting for this range actually all of this range um i think she sent a lot of the new release products that she knows that i haven't tried before because they are not yet legally available for the UK, but hopefully they will be soon. This is the Chestnut AHA Clear Essence. Um, I've tried the first formulation of this and I really liked it. Um, oh, and this was actually the <laughs> this was actually the range that I wanted to try, and that's their onion range, which um Uni also said was very good. So there's the cleansing foam, the gel cream, and the essence toner. So this was um, the range that I said I was really intrigued about and uh, my friend who works at Isentry said oh yeah like I'll, I'll give you one of each of the onion range and leave it at your hotel but she's given me two of each and then all of these so she's awfully kind and I am gonna have to message her a big thank you because this is just amazing this is just so kind of her she knew exactly the products that I was really intrigued about and the ones that I wasn't able um, yeah to try and then from earlier Claire so this was the sample kit that if you vote for your favorite Claire's product in the Claire store you're eligible for I think it was five samples and then they also gifted me I think this was to celebrate a milestone of like a million global sales of the vitamin yeah of the vitamin drop and the supple preparation facial toner so that's a kit that has both of them how nice is this ribbon they also I actually don't know what's in here um daily comfort hand cream so this was from their new hand and body range which was um i've only seen in claire soul so this was in their flagship store and i think they've also given me um the duo of the hand wash and the hand cream that i tried in the flagship store earlier um so it says for your two hands that are always too busy and then what's this oh yeah and these are minis of the daily skin hydrating water because the bottles of of this product and also the softening water um i'm not sure if that one's in here oh yeah it is is 500 ml so the bottle is huge so they've come out with these 30 i think these are 30 ml um miniatures which is a really good way to try these in case or oh, 50 ml in case you don't want to invest in the massive 500 ml bottle um <laughs> I am a little bit worried about my weight allowance, but I'll worry about that on Sunday.
Okay guys, it's nearly midnight and I have four meetings tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. My first one's at 10 in Gangnam, so I get a little bit of a lie-in, but I am gonna call it a night. So I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog, bye.